Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's up everyone, it's Paintbrush here. Welcome to another game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. If you enjoy this one, then you're going to love this one next. It's the Winnipeg Jets and the Colorado Avalanche. As you may already call that one before, the Winnipeg Jets had that one with an early start range and this one was a shocking moment as they beat over the Colorado Avalanche with a 6-5 lead. That was because of Connor Hellebuck and on the other side, that was supposed to be Alexander Georgiev. But this one never got through. So they have to find another way if they can get that one stopped and bound. As you may already know, two X-Factor players are going to be a hard one to take over, and three X-Factor players for the Carolina, for Colorado, excuse me, that will be part of the Avalanche. Hopefully they're going to get this one tied up. Will they have the answer back, or will the Jets extend their way 2-0 over the Avalanche? Let's take you from here at Ball Arena in Mile High. James, Cheryl, all yours, and Conjure will be the center ice on these two particular teams in between a range. I'll be back with a post-game show after this. See you all later. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. We're here in the Mile High City, and so many drinks have rolled through this town, like Sackett, Forsberg, Wong, the King of the Car. We are about set to drop the mic as both centers make their way over the dock. Got 
the clock and they'll go on the attack. That's good by the UN here. And the punch stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play.
12.06 remaining in the first field of the game. That's Mark Scarfellas with the first goal of the playoffs. Now along with the long the mellow and Morrissey. 12.06.
There's one minute remaining in the first period of the game.
Russell good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if the new chapter lines. Made the stop on the play. Puck scooped up by Connor. Slip feed. The Avs scooping up a line of boards. Through center. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. From the point, they take control of it. And now he moves it quickly to Jamila. Oh, what a save in front! He already has the to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. The Jets have it behind the cage. Winnipeg's got it in the wrong zone. The Avs have it against the wall. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. There's the whistle, we got an offside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Jets are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Winnipeg's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face off. Moves it around along the half wall. Both sides digging it for that puck along the wall.
space inside the D zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Toss it up on the play. Stepped up along the wall by Perfetti. Silver Spoon here, just a quick reminder for all of you, as a quick announcement. 
that we have some tomorrow's game coming up here or underway, so you will be able to see them around here shortly. Because there is a couple of other games that's going to be happening right in between the first seed versus the wildcard teams in between. First, we send you down over to the Western Conference as the Canucks play against the Kings. Then secondly, it comes in another way as we got the Bruins facing against the Capitals. And then following the third game will be the Rangers and the Bolts back at the Garden. And, and the last final game is Stars and Predators at the American Airlines Center. That will be all the game that we have, but keep your eyes steady. You'll be seeing them more really soon. We're underway. And a skip will be in here very soon here on July, so that will be the next one coming in underway. Probably at the end of a month. You may never know what's going to be happening, but it might be a number one choice if it's going to happen right in between. So as of right now, that is it for the announcements. We'll see you all later here for an final game. As far as for Terry Crews, as they will be happy enough to have that one coming in back right behind. And this will be back to the paintbrush on the airway. We'll see you all for the next day here for the game. Back to you, James. Silver Spoon out. Seconds in the third period. That's Kyle Connor's goal, along with Joe Morrissey and Mark Skyfelli. 35 seconds.
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Can't get it to go. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Hillebuck. He carries the puck up along the wing. Puckers it up there. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Parisi has got it through center. Slides the puck over. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Jets move it ahead. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Colorado's going to hold it against the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. They got a chance to make sure. Oh, good was a stick out. What a save. It was all but in James. Two minute penalty for Winnipeg for cross checking. Number nine, I was like, oh, with the cross checking. Top of the penalty for 2 2 remaining in the third period. That's two minute cross checking for ability on Winnipeg. Top of the penalty for 2 2. For the Avalanche, power play!
One minute remaining for two in the game. and three hits, but yours, Connor Hellebuck, is your first star player of the game. What a great save in game two, and a big upset happened to be the end of the first day. Here's what he did with the total statistics. 68-0-42 put Colorado over Winnipeg Jets on the total shots, and it was 61-39 hits here for Winnipeg. Then again, it happened with 757 time on attack from Colorado over 508. 92 percentage over 87 for Winnipeg Jets. 28 over 17 for Colorado. Six minute penalty kill was nothing there. Only three minute power, six minute power play minutes for Colorado, but no power play goals. 0 and 3 was the count to be out there. Wow. And I'll tell you now, Winnipeg Jets already in a smoke out. They destroyed their road games against the mile high team of Colorado. But the question is, can the Colorado Avalanche answer their way back in the third game? Find out after the NBA playoffs. And that will be coming up right after the second day of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. So thank you for joining us here. We'll see you all again next time. Peace out, everybody, for a while as the 2024 of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Good night, everybody. We'll see you all for the next day of the playoffs of game two. Paintbrush out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.